So now let's talk about animation type. So I'm going to apply the element three right, uh, right here and I'm going to have one object each in group one and group two. So I'm going to go into the scene setup menu right here and I'm going to go into my startup pack. Let us work with these asteroids right here. So let, I'm going to use this one in group one and I'm going to use another rock in group two. So let me just bring them out of the group folder. I don't need the group folder. So rock one and rock two. I'm gonna keep this one in group two. So there's a little bit of transi transition between animations. So I'm gonna press okay and I got my rocks. So I'm gonna go into group one and over here inside our particle replicator, let me just use uh, something like, all right, something like a plane right here. All right, so let me just increase the particle count right here, just like this. And I'm going to scale this out. So I'm going to scale the animation part right here. So it's in a plane, just like that. All right, so I'm going to uh, move this upward. Let me just increase the number of animation a bit. So let's say uh, I wanna have around 10 objects. All right, there you go. So 10 objects right over here. So now what I'm going to do is change the position. So I'm going to change this out, change the T axis, not the Z axis, the Y axis right up. So there's 10 particles and all of them are arranged in a plane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the group two. So I'm gonna go into group two. I'm going to go into particle replicator and I have 10 objects. And over here, I'm going to select plane right there. Right, let me just increase the scale. So I'm going to increase uh, the scale of the shape. So let me just increase it just like this. All right, there you go. And I'm going to move this down. So I'm just going to move this down a bit by changing the Y value. All right, so maybe I just want to increase the number of particles into something like 20. So it seems much more smoother. All right, let me just increase it into 30 itself. So much more smoother animation right there. So I'm gonna do the same with group one. I'm going to have 30 objects right here. So I'm going to work with the animation engine for this. So now the animation engine is off. So let me just turn it on. And over here, the start group is group one and finish group is group two. So that's fine. So I'm going to enable this out. And now as I work along with the animation, it goes from group one to group two, as you can see, smooth animation right there. Right now, you can see that there's something called the animation type. It is directional. If you go for uniform, then you can see that now once I actually do this, all of them goes at the same time because that's a uniform animation right there. Once you go over here into directional animation, now the ones from the left start and it ends to the right, right there. Just like that, it's a directional animation. You can also go for radial animation right here and that actually brings it up like a radial animation. Starts from the center, as you can see, goes for a radial animation right there. So now, let, us, let me just use my camera to actually show you how that works. So not the lights. I'm going to create a new camera, press OK, and I'm going to move this up. So orbit the camera right there, just like that, and we're going to see the animation much more clearly. So radial animation is there. Let me do from start. You can see that it actually starts from the center and then ends up right there. There you go. That's the radial animation right there. There's a random animation. So if I were to click this, you can see that it, now everything animates quite randomly. And finally, there's the shape order, drag around, and it follows up in an order fashion from top to bottom, just like this. All right, so let me just go back to uniform and let me bring the, um, uh, bring the value right here. So not uniform, but directional as you can see. So it actually creates something from left to right and you can see somewhere in between. So let me go into 50%, somewhere around 50%. So you can see the start and the finish of the animation. So this is the start of the animation while this is the finished person, as you can see. Right now, the smoothness is 50%. If I were to increase the smoothness, you can see that now all of the animation actually happens once. But if I were to decrease the smoothness, you can see that it is kind of jerky. So if I were to actually bring this out, you can see that everything happens quite fast right there. But if I were to increase the smoothness, you can see that the animation is quite subtle, just like this. Let me decrease the smoothness. You can see that you can arrange the type of the animation you want. So much more smoother, much more together. So you can increase and decrease the smoothness. You can also increase the randomness of the animation, as you can see, which actually distorts the animation right here. So everything happens quite randomly. Let me just bring it back into zero. 
Now over here, there's the A's type. Right now, if we were to actually add in a keyframe and then I'm going to go over here, animate it out, you'll be able to see that there's a sort of a start, slow starting and a slow ending. That's the easing animation. I can turn it totally off to have no ease in and ease out animation right there. So I can go over here and you can see that there's no ease in and ease out animation altogether. No ease in and ease out animation right here. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, is type that's is in which actually brings in the starting of the animation right there. You can see that starting is good but ending is quite abrupt and there's the is out where the starting is quite smooth but the ending right you can starting is quite abrupt but the ending is quite smooth. So you can work around with all of this right here without having to add in the is in and is out function right here. So that's the group uh, uh, group direction right here. Let me just go to A's so that it creates an A's in function right there. There's the forward and also the backward. So you can see that now it actually starts from group two and ends up in group one if you were to select the uh, group direction right here. So you can go back and go forward. There's the start group and the finish group right here. So you can go with the finish group as well first. All right, so let me go back normally and over here, there's a deform from there's the blending one, right? So you can blend it right here. You can go from the start group, right? So blend from the start group or blend from the finish group right here. So you can also disconnect the multi object if there's any multi object right here and other options right here. The another one that is very important, uh, important and wonderful is the dual animation mode. So you can see that if I were to turn this on, you can see that right now it's directional, but I can have the ending point into random or radial. So let me just select radial for a while. So now in the beginning, you can see that the animation starts in uh, the directional way. So this is directional, it starts in a directional way, but it assemb um, assembles in a radial way, as you can see. So it starts from over here and ends over here. So you can see that it starts from directional way and ends up in a radial fashion right there. So starts from um, directional, ends from radial. You can also start from directional, end it in a random way, just like this. You can also go for shape, order, uniform, and others. So the uniform, right, starts from uniform, ends up all together. So you can start from something like radial, end it in directional. And that has the opposite effect right here. So ends it up in a directional animation. So you can combine the setup animation right there, just like you can see. And all of the animation uh, options right here. For example, this radial animation. Let me just go over here. Let me turn off the um, uh, the dual animation mode. I'm gonna go into something like radial, and you can see specific options for radial. So for example, you see the directional option. You can work with outward inward type of an animation right here which change the, changes the direction of the animation as you saw right here you can change the position of the radialness so you can change the position as you can see so now the radial actually the center point actually starts from here and also change the position uh, right here so you can also go around uh, with the directional options so you, you see that you have a directional animation which actually starts from here to here but if you were to go from directional options right here so these are the directional animation go to directional option and if you were to change this out you can see that the direction actually changes just like this so it changes into the place you want for example you can just drag it out over here you can see that this is how it starts and ends right here so you can entirely change the direction right here and you can see that this is how the animation actually occurs once you change the direction right there you can also change the pitch to change the direction over here so that is how you can work with the animation engine and work with different type of animations hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe